So in context of kidney disease, screening uh, involves finding out the patients who are at risk of having kidney disease and being able to evaluate them further in terms of uh, who needs further evaluation and further treatment. And for those, for the general practitioners or whoever else is doing the screening, who they should refer or who they can discuss with nephrologists and manage accordingly. Screening patients for chronic or any kidney disease, let me just say, can be done by any health professional. It can be done in a hospital setup, either county, regional, or whatever hospital setup that you can get access to. Or it can be done in individual clinics by doctors, physicians, general practitioners, or whoever is able to get in contact to a patient. So who do you screen? We screen patients who are high risk of getting chronic kidney disease. We are talking of patients with diseases like diabetes, hypertension, um, HIV, uh, or any other infectious diseases. Uh, these are patients who are highly uh, at risk of developing kidney diseases. So when we say we screen patients, your, your health worker who's going to screen you is going to do uh, what is called creatinine and take your urine to check what's called proteins. Okay, so when this is done, we use that now to, to evaluate you and say, are you a high risk patient? Are you a low risk patient? Or you're just fine, you don't have any kidney disease. So those who have uh, any of these abnormality detected, those are patients who are now you know, taken further um, uh, to the next step after screening. So after screening now, you are evaluated and, and according to how deranged or how abnormal your kidney uh, function is or the severity of your kidney disease, treatment is instituted that is specific to that kidney disease and and those who are able to have reversible of this kidney disease are treated quite aggressively and those who are not having disease that who have disease that is not reversible that is the patients we call them chronic kidney disease those are patients who now we map them out we send them out or we deal with them as nephrologist in terms of how we are going to initiate what we call renal replacement therapy basically these are substitute to your kidney uh, not functioning so there are types of kidney injury that probably you should be aware there's acute that we say it's reversible it happens within a short period of time within less than three months and we have those patients who have chronic kidney disease whose damage or injury to the kidney has been there for a prolonged time, more than three months. So to the public, you need to be aware about these kidney diseases. So acute kidney disease, more or less, you'll have symptoms and signs that are of sudden onset. You have leg swelling, you have facial swelling, your urine character changes. You either have blood in urine, or you have color colored urine. Uh, some people call it strong tea colored urine, or your urine output decreases. Other people will have foamy urine. You pee and you have foamy urine. So those are signs that you might want to visit a doctor because, you know, to be evaluated for kidney disease. Other signs of chest, you might have chest congestion, you know, and uh, pressure in the chest, just due to fluid that the kidney is supposed to remove, maybe, you know, going to an abnormal place that is not supposed to be. Now, when you talk about chronic kidney diseases, uh, it is quite important for you to know that you might have signs, not even signs, symptoms of chronic kidney disease, and you might not be aware. That is one thing that actually makes most of our patients present to us quite late because it's called one of the silent killers. You are not aware yet you have a chronic, disease, chronic kidney disease that is, uh, that is developing into you know, um, uh, an extreme uh, disease that might require 
uh, replacement of your kidney functioning.